All right, leaving this morning, but we get a rare glimpse of Ashley going to the bus. Since I'm no longer taking her to the bus. Hang on one second, let's see if we can catch her. There's Ashley in the wild. <laughs> Hi. I don't get to take you to the bus anymore. This is the equivalent of what I get to do. Have a good day. And now we're waiting for the bus at the next stop up. Run, little girl, run, little girl. <laughs> she should have just gone to the other stop. It's closer. Anyway, I um, have to go this morning for a scan. You guys, Jason and I were just talking the other day because I went to make a payment on my surgery credit card that I, you know, paid for the other half of it with. I have five months left to get that sucker paid off. But for months now, I haven't been getting scans. Since right before the holidays, I haven't been getting scans, which means I haven't getting, been getting paid. And I don't, have, <laughs> I don't have any extra money except for my YouTube money to um, pay down this credit card bill. And I was really getting kind of stressed and I was like, Jason, we gotta like, you know, start talking about how we can do this, you know, work it into our budget a little bit every month, like AKA him helping me pay for it, which, he was like, that wasn't the agreement, but we don't want to pay the back interest. It's like a thousand dollars so far, you know? And, um, and I was like, okay, I'm doing the best I can, you know? Anyway, I only had a few hundred dollars to pay for it this month and, um, get the minimum payment, or not even the minimum. It was like double the minimum payment, but at, like we had that conversation two days ago so 48 hours ago we had this conversation and he was kind of stressed because we've got some other medical expenses that have suddenly come up that we were not expecting at all and it's not in the budget anyway so it's been a little bit stressful and so um, all of a sudden I got a text from the company I do these scans with and, and she was like I need to do this this and this for a scan can you do it Thursday today's Thursday and I was like yes <laughs> it was literally like 24 hours it was like yesterday that she texted me and I was like yes I can because that pays the most it's a three-hour scan so that's where I'm headed now and oh, there's so many buses um, so it's a three-hour scan it pays the most which is fantastic and it takes like a month to get paid which was perfect because I don't need to make a credit card payment for a month so very glad but also once you get into like one scan they like start a little um it's like they start the process of testing something at, on their equipment so they'll have me come in and scan and then they'll change and modify and then they'll have me come in again and then they'll change and modify and then they'll have like other people come in from other countries and then i come in and so I'm like, ooh, maybe this is another cycle. Cycle, that's a good word. It's a little cycle. And so I hope I'm at the beginning of a cycle so I can get a bunch of these in and get paid for them in a month or two. And uh, that will really, really help. So blessings, <laughs> blessings in disguise as I head out. Uh, just a quick update on Ashley. She still has hives. Um, made it through school all day yesterday and then made it through cheer with minimal hives. We're on two allergy pills. Um, she takes Benadryl at school, which makes her really tired, but it makes it so she doesn't break out. So, you know, I mean, I wish I, I can't really send it with her and it's not like a medication I can just take to the nurse. I can like later on, I could take it to her and have her take it, but I will be, by the time I'm done, anyway, there won't be any point to her taking more medication. So, I don't have an answer. She still has this little virus. They're still counting it as such. And it's like a waiting game to get to day 14 and then reach back out to the pediatrician and see what they want us to do from there. So, so a few days left to get to day 14. I think we're on day 12, which I should just make an appointment with the pediatrician tomorrow. We'll see. Just wanted to get you guys alive <laughs> in the moment. Um, we're like almost two thirds 
of the way through, I think. But um, I'm going, I am covered. I've got it from my hands, I've got the goo, from my hands clear down to like my armpit. <laughs> and then, so they're letting me go to the bathroom, take a break for a second, but it means that like I need a whole new gown. So <laughs> I'm gonna get a new gown on and wipe myself off and go to the bathroom and then we'll come back for part two. Well done, they always flock to our little fields here. Coming down from the cold weather. Yeah, I'm looking at you. All right, I'm all done. I got the goo in my hair. It's like right here. It's kind of gross, it's dry, but now it's looking at, that's not my car. The only problem with these two. <laughs> they all are literally the same car. I just went to get in the wrong one. I didn't even bother to look for my little, uh, dangly, but I don't even know if I got out early. Did I get out early? Let's see here. Six minutes early. <laughs> so, but I still get paid for the full three hours. I haven't gotten a call from Ashley. Had better cell reception in there than I have in the past. I was kind of worried about that, which they would have just let me go and still pay me because they understand that, you know, I'm on their time. No, they're on my time. <laughs> they are on my time. I don't have really any errands to run, which is strange. Um, but I only have like three hours at home before I have to take Ashley to cheer. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know, I might work on my little Legos and turn on a movie. I might do that, just for fun. Um, still wanna do my little birthday day. And I realized Jason works on tomorrow. Um, one of our employees is on vacation in Hawaii and I'm very excited for them. And um, so he has to work tomorrow, which means I kind of have a free day, <laughs> but I'm going to get this car I got an estimate on this car um, to get the final repair done from the stupid raccoon. So that's going to take up a chunk of my morning. And I just want to not, like, I don't want to have anything on deck. Like, I just want to spend the whole day, like, doing what I want. So it's going to have to wait another week, <laughs> at least. Pick another day next week, maybe. See what's on the schedule for next week. But. Oh well, we'll go home and find something fun to do. I, I think I could probably find a fun movie on Netflix and I'll start working on my Legos. All right, I changed my mind, circled around, and I'm up at Marshall's and I need to find a pair of jeans. But I'm sitting in my car still because using my phone during three hours of a scan, I'm on 20%. <laughs> so I can't go into the store and chance that my phone will die because then I can't drive my car home. So <laughs> I'm gonna get it up to 30% and then I think I'll, I just won't use it when I'm in there. Um, so anyway, I just need a new pair of jeans and I've been casually, casually looking when I have been going to Marshall's lately. Um, but I have like Ashley with me. The last few times I've had her with me or I'm like on a mission to like find something specific and then I get my hands full and I don't wanna get a cart and then the line is really long and so I just bail and I go home. But I just want a pair of jeans that like, they're, I don't want them loose. I don't want them baggy, but I just want them to feel like the boyfriend jean. Like I don't, I've never really had anything like that. The jeans that I have, I literally have, no, I have one pair. Cause I got rid of the pair that is too big that I you know, lost all that weight. And I got rid of that pair of jeans. So I literally have one pair of jeans. And the only other things I wear are like these jogger pants. I wear jogger pants and like, little uh, jogger, like khaki ones. That's all I wear and I just want something like when I'm out and about, even if I'm wearing a sweatshirt to just look a little bit nicer but feel more like, just feel nice, like feel more casual I guess. Cause the jeans I have, they're tight, like the tight fit, they're skinny jeans. Like they're not uncomfortable, but they're skinny jeans and 
I wear them when I go out. You know what I mean? Like I don't wear them to run errands and whatnot. I wear them to like go out to dinner or I don't have nice pants. I'm not gonna buy, like, you know, dress pants or anything like that. I don't have a need for that. I just want a pair of, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like, and maybe if you are over, like have weight in your belly, like you understand what I'm saying. You can't just like walk into a store and like go get a pair of jeans and like have it feel comfortable on you. So <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna let my phone charge up here um, and then I'm gonna go in. I also am looking for just fun little travel things. I'm making a little list on my Amazon account. So I'm gonna do a separate little video on little travel finds and a backpack I'm gonna get and a few other little trinkets so stay tuned for that I might do that video like like well before our trip just for the fun of it um, and then do another like separate like packing video closer to our trip just because when I enjoy it and I know that as soon as I get the backpack I'm gonna want to like figure out how to pack it and you'll see the kind of backpack it is it's a travel bag in a backpack form. So I wanna like practice with it <laughs> and have fun. And I think, I know you guys enjoy that. And I know you guys have trips planned. In fact, I was just texting with one of you um, today, this morning, and you have trips planned yourself. And I just, why not put that information out there for you guys in case you guys wanna get this backpack. So I think I might put that order in. I have a few other things to get. I'm also doing an order online. Um, for the girls to get new swimsuits. Um, I am going the cheap route and going with a company that I have feelings about ordering from and I haven't for over a year, I think. Probably the last time I've ordered some suits for them <laughs> because they're so dang cheap. I can buy Ashley three swimsuits, two for the trip and one for her birthday because just because the cost of three swimsuits is the price of the one swimsuit Chelsea has shown me on Amazon. So I told Chelsea, I will look for that swimsuit on this other website. If I can find it cheaper, I'm gonna get it for cheaper, because right now, cheap is the game. Normally I'm not, like normally I like to save, a, I like to make, you know, have a good deal. I just took this off the charger. I'm such an idiot. Charge. Um, I like to save money. Um, but some things I like to have quality as well. Swimsuits is not one of those for the kids because they grow out of them. They get chlorine and salt water and they wear out and they grow up. And so I just don't need to put tons of money into their swimsuits. I'm just battling, I'm at 23%. As soon as I go in, I will bring you along. Also, this weather, like, can you see the rain? I thought, well, it is still kind of calming. I thought having this big, huge roof window, I mean, it is kind of nice. And now you can't hear the rain. It is kind of calming when it is raining and you can hear it kind of pitter patter on the roof or whatnot, but it's also why I have this bad boy in here. I added a new little refill to my little coconut ball. I got this one in, um, I actually got this one on the big island, but you can find these in any little boutique on any of the islands. Just look for these little guys. They're in the smaller boutiques. I never find them in like ABC stores, but this bottom part here spins off. And then what you do is you flip it upside down and it kind of soaks up the little coconut topper, the wooden part, and uh, it smells nice and pretty. But if you kind of forget to do that, then this lasts for a long time. Like I got this on the big island, which was two years ago. So three years ago, I don't remember when, but yeah, that one is, this is, this is why I have this. The rain, this, that's why I have this, to remind me of sunshine. <laughs> you tossed me like a stone. You swept me off my feet. I can feel my bones I still count the days You swept me off my feet I keep going high, she keeps going low Something feels wrong right now, I know Something right. feels wrong. I 
did not in fact do anything fun at home. I did not in fact find any fun um, jeans. But I did decide that I'm gonna go to Old Navy tomorrow after my Tesla estimate, which I also found something out about. But I will say, I can't show you because I can't show the school. I am becoming a pro at the car pickup lane. <laughs> the, at the parent pickup line um, at the school. I am one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, tenth car. Tenth car in line. I will not be waiting here a really long time. I mean, school's not out for 15 minutes, but I made it to the front of the line. So I'm getting better at this. Um, and just as I'm getting good at it, um, Ashley's probably not going to do this dance class um, after school anymore. Uh, it's just too much. We had a bit of a meltdown last night and we're trying to work with her coach tonight and decide what class we can cut. I don't mind cutting tonight, but she wants to cut another um, class and we want to see if it's required in order for her to be on the competitive squad. So some of them are required. So we just need to have a conversation with the coach tonight, which is going to make Ashley anxious when she gets in the car. So I'm just going to be cautious and put the camera away um, because of the night we had but I found out a few things I am getting referrals for an allergist for Ashley um, I have been talking to the pediatrician's office today and they've been talking to my her pediatrician and we have decided yes if she in fact still has hives by tomorrow or Saturday which is exact like 14 days from when it began then we need to go see an allergist and figure out what is wrong my bet is, and I wanted to make sure I started that process. Um, why is that not refilling? Um, I wanted to start that process ahead of time over th for the weekend in order to like have the names. Um, and then I can kind of test her out over the weekend to see if the hives go away over the weekend. But at least by Monday, I will have um, a referral and maybe even a, an appointment to get into an allergist and the process will already be started. So hopefully I can get the referral today. I can look up, up those doctors tomorrow, find one that works with our insurance and try and get something scheduled for next week. Fingers crossed that um, I can make that happen because she's doing better except she's doped up on medication. <laughs> like the only way she's functioning at school right now is because she's got Benadryl like seeping through her veins. She's on it all day, all night. It's not the way a child, which is probably why, and she doesn't understand. She was exhausted last night after four hours of practice and she's like, I can't do more practices. And I, I kept trying to help her understand like how much Benadryl she has in her system and that she's overtired. Not only does she stay up late because she just doesn't go to sleep, but then she has four hours of practice and she has literal Benadryl in her blood. <laughs> like She's dripping with Benadryl. Um, and she's like, well, I'm not going to fall asleep just sitting here. And I just don't think she understands like how much it's affecting her. I, I feel bad for the kid. Um, but if I don't do that, then she's a full flare, a whole body flare. So anyway, so I've, I've arranged that. And then I also... So I got a little nervous with my car, my beautiful new car, and all the damage that has occurred with my car. Getting the estimate done at Tesla tomorrow for the raccoon. As soon as we get that estimate done, then I can make the appointment and have the raccoon crash and the side damage that was done to my car fixed, which will be hallelujah. Like, I don't even care if that if I go without a car that day or the, if my teenagers need to drive me somewhere or I stay home for an entire day. I'll probably save money by doing that. But I got a little nervous because I had to submit photos through my insurance, through State Farm, um, for the claim in order for them to, like, give me money. And then I give that money to Tesla for them to fix it. It's kind of a whole thing. Tesla doesn't allow State Farm employees to come in to their facility to do the estimates like their claims adjusters and so it's kind of a whole thing where I have to do all the legwork I have to put in a claim with the insurance company with my own photos they submit that claim they give me money 
well, they've already submitted a check. And I'm like, but I don't know if that estimate is going to equal the same as the estimate that Tesla is going to do tomorrow. So I called the agent today and I was like, what if the estimate Tesla does like actually gets underneath my car and finds out what the actual damage is, is more than this check that's already in the mail. And she's like, oh, will you just send that estimate over to us? And if it's more money, the actual damage and what the actual repair is going to be, we'll send you more money. <laughs> it's like, oh, hallelujah. I was like really worried. I was like, I'm not going to cash this check. I don't want to, I need more money, whatever. So I figured that out, which is good news. So stay tuned for tomorrow and find out if that estimate, I don't know that I'll know the dollar amount for that estimate tomorrow, but they're pretty, usually pretty quick with it. Um, so I'm going to go do that. So that's all I've done today. It's again, another day of like motherhood, but you know, I mean, at least I didn't have to come get a child early. At least no one else got sick or hurt. Um, and I had lunch at home. So now I get to go sit in a car, but I, I will say this is a refill. This is the cup, an old cup from a gas station that I had at the house just rinsed out because you can get refills for cheaper price at the gas station. So I put my own pebble ice in here and we bought root beer, or we bought root beer. That's funny. We got Coke Zero at Costco to try and save money on my sodas. Trying to do better, but I just, I like, I like an afternoon soda. And I would go through and go to the store again, go to the gas station and get myself another drink while I sit and wait for her. And instead I'm gonna get my own ice and my own soda and drink that. So I am trying to do better. Um, and it's Coke Zero. Coke Zero or regular Coke is the only thing I can get through a drive-thru or even like the gas station. So I am trying to do better. Um, other than that, yeah. Fantastic day. It's just kind of like a whatever. It is what it is.